Okay, hey, my name is Adam Butorf. I'm the owner of Renown Roofing and Construction, and I'm excited to, just to share a little bit of my story, how I got in the business of uh, roofing and construction, because most people's perception of it is not a glorified one, and so I want to help change that, because mine wasn't either. I lost my dad when I was 11 years old, started going to work, and realized I think a little bit differently than most people, and because I even, um, as I started working and making money, I was like, oh, I enjoy this. So let's figure out ways to do that. Even in fifth grade, my first business was selling bandanas to my students because it was super popular. So I'd go buy a bunch and then go sell it to them, right? And I was like, oh, okay, until I saturated my market. Because <laughs> there's only so much you can put in there. <clears throat> and then as I got older, went to college because that's what everybody says you should do. And I had seven glorious years in college. Most people called doctors, I was called graduate. <laughs> Needless to say, college was not my forte, but I forced myself through it. And then I jumped into business, like most people would think, what's glorious. So for me, it was um, real estate, which it, you know, is very sexy, at least I felt like. And it wasn't until um, the market in the, in the Dallas area, because I'm from Dallas, so the market kind of just leveled off and um, you know, I was, things were going great when I was flipping houses until the market leveled off and instead of flipping, I ended up with a bunch of rentals. And here I am, a young, I'm married, got two young kids, and I gotta go get a job. I gotta find out some way to make a living. And it was through that experience that God humbled me enough to be open to go in the construction business because I, I didn't wanna sling a hammer, which was my thought. And so got into doing sales. Turns out I love the business. Uh, opened my own company um, shortly after being introduced to the comp to the, the business about a year year and a half, and it has been incredible. It is nothing what I imagine it to be, and what I think most people who are not in the business imagine it to be. When I tell people I'm in construction, they typically say, "Oh, okay," which in their minds they think, "Oh, poor you, you just you didn't have enough education or understanding, and man, you just have a tough life." Part of me, to be honest with you, I love that. Because <laughs> I don't think I make any money and I have a really tough life and it is the furthest thing from the truth. I love this business. It is fantastic. Not only will it provide you a great living, but also you get to do great things. I love, I invest in my team, my people. I get to help clients when insurance companies take advantage of them, which is most of the time. And so it's super exciting to do that. And a little bit of my story too, so I launched the company and, you know, a nice uphill trajectory as, as things are moving forward and then uh, craziness in my life happens. Um, so I lost my sister to cancer. Um, two years later, I lost my nephew to cancer. And then a month after that, I lost my wife to cancer. Uh, so cancer has wrecked my life. Um, and in th that span, the reason I bring that up is because in that span, I, have, I, I can't be as involved in my business as, as I usually am. But what I've done great or a good job of is investing in my team and really helping them. Because in those two to three year window is when that was, that was going on, my business hit the Inc. 5000, the fastest growing companies, two years in a row. Um, even when I am not being able to pour into it like I normally had. And the biggest reason for that is because I had done it previously. You know, they say behind every great man uh, is a great woman or a great team. That's 100% the case. It's not because of necessarily me, but it's I have a great team that I've invested in. And I love this business. It, I cannot imagine doing anything else.